What is good YouTube man? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse man and today we're going to be discussing the PRV crossover and the best way to set it for your mids and highs if you have some in your vehicle. Let's get to it. Today we're going to talk about the PRV EX 3.5 stereo. They make this model and they also make the PRV EX 4.6. It just gives you a little bit more extra channels out to connect more amps to it. So on one of our previous video we talked about setting the Terra amps uh, using the low pass and the high pass. Now let's pretend that our amp is set and we want to add a crossover to it and we don't we want to get a crossover uh, and we choose the PRV EX 3.5 to use as our crossover and now we're going to want to go ahead and learn how to set this guy so it gives you the best performance that you want. Okay so as you can see we have a front in, a sub in, a sub out, a mid out and then high out and then we have all these extra uh, buttons. Uh, frequency cutoffs, high pass, low pass, gains, levels, and all that stuff. We're gonna go over all these right now so you know how to use your PRV crossover. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, man, because we are trying to reach 5K subscribers by the end of the year, man. We have four weeks to go ahead and get these uh, last uh, thousand subscribers. Man, we're at like 4,300. We need 700 more subscribers. Man, don't forget to hit that subscribe if you like car audio videos, man. We are doing nothing but badass builds. Serato build is serious. Trailblazer build is going to be serious. And we're doing more builds along the way. So don't forget to hit that subscribe, hit that like, and definitely drop some comments along the way on this video. The way how you're going to want to hook this guy up before you even get started in adjusting it. If you're having uh, RCA that's coming from your EQ, you want to go ahead and put it in your front. Uh, and if you have a amp for your mids and one for your tweeter, you're going to want to send your RCA out of your mid out to that mid amp. And then if you have a tweeter amp, you want to send the high out to your tweeter app if you don't have a sub in you can hit the the uh, button right here on and off and that um, gives you availability to go ahead and sub out without using the sub in here we're going to be using these two channels the mid out and the high out but you see we have a few switches um, on top which says 150 hertz 250 hertz 80 hertz and flat and then on the high out on the top, it's just a 180 phase or a zero phase. You know, you want to go ahead and leave that at zero because, you know, the phase don't really matter on the tweeters. You know, you just want those things playing all at the same way and zero is the best way to go. Same thing. Now, that's the high pass filter we just discussed on the mid out. Now, they have a low pass, which is at 8 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, and then flat. Then obviously you have on and off right here, and that basically just shuts off the signal going into here. Uh, signal out, so you can shut those off and adjust them each one by one by one. And then you have your levels that are, you know, they're just like a volume. They're not much like a gain. Always treat your levels and your gains respect, respectfully, because you never know, you could turn it up a little bit too much and blow some stuff up. Let's go ahead and show you guys uh, the way the different sounds gives you. Uh, so we'll just pretend that we just got this cross crossover and we're going to just put the level at halfway and we are going to put the high pass all the way to 250 uh, hertz and we're going to put the low pass at 8 kilohertz to see how that sounds. This is high pass 250 hertz, low pass at 8 kilohertz. <laughs> Okay, as you can see in here, man, that has a little bit of distortion and a little bit more of a lower frequency going to it, and it doesn't sound that good. So now let's go ahead and try a different setting so you can see how it sounds different. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try high pass 150 hertz, and low pass it will be at 4 kilohertz to see how that sounds. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the tweeters. So you can hear how it just sounds with just the minutes playing on that. So that right there was high pass 150 hertz uh, and at the low pass it was at 4 kilohertz. Uh, so let's hear what it sounds with another setting on. And high pass 80 hertz, low pass 2 kilohertz uh, and let's hear how it sounds now.
Okay, so that setting right there is really low frequency, so you're not really going to get a lot of vocal response. It is very deep, but my preference is just going flat all the way. Let's hear how it sounds flat. So now the high pass is at flat and the low pass is at flat, and let's hear how it sounds now. If you are a fan of mid bass and a little bit of vocal, man, that is a good, you know, setting to do. But let's go ahead and switch it up a bit just so you can see how um, different sounds you can get. High pass, we're going to go 150 and low pass, we're going to go 4 kilohertz and see how that sounds. Fifty hertz on the high pass four uh, kilohertz on the low pass sounds really good so now we got that um, out the way now let's go ahead and do the tweeters so let's turn off the mids and now let's turn on the tweeters and let's put all these guys to the very top first setting that we're gonna do is high pass at eight kilohertz and this is what it sounds like Okay, that sounded pretty good. That gives you a little bit more of a higher frequency. So now let's go to the next one. So this is four kilohertz right here. That sounded pretty good. It gives you more of that, you know, clarity sound. Uh, but if you want a little bit of more, more vocal, let's go to the next one. This is a two kilohertz setting on the PRV crossover. sounded pretty good gave you a little bit of vocal a little bit of still high frequency so now let's go to flat now with the two kilohertz let's go ahead and put the Phase at 180, the button right here. Okay, so I honestly feel that the tweeters sound good at two kilohertz with the phase at zero. Now let's go ahead and set that real quick. So phase, we're just gonna turn this guy off. Kilohertz at two. And remember, we still have our setting from 150 uh, high pass and low pass is at four kilohertz. Now let's turn them on so we can hear both of them playing at the same time. later there you have it man you just heard uh, a few different settings on the prv crossover uh, i did watch a few videos of the prv crossover when i was installing these guys myself but they just talked about what the prv crossovers actually do but never actually played you know sounds to see which setting i like the best or just give me a little bit of direction on how to set the prv crossover for the mid out on the prv crossover high pass we have it set at 150 hertz low pass is running at four kilohertz with the level uh, a little bit over half and the high out it is phase all the way off on zero high pass is at two kilohertz and the gain's just a little bit over half just like the mid so hopefully with these settings right here i hope you understand the prv crossover a little bit better i know that it could be difficult uh, I'm starting to become a little bit more familiar with this. I wanted to understand the PRV crossover before I actually jump into 
the DSPs and the digital ones and all that stuff, man. So it's good to take steps, stay in your lane, um, get to know one product before you jump into another one so you can understand a little bit better. Um, I hope with today's video, it helps you understand the PRV crossover, the EX 3.5. Very good piece. I recommend it. Use it for mids and highs, man. It, it's, a, it's outstanding. It makes the truck jam. So I hope today's video was pretty good, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. Man, I'm here to teach you guys a little bit of things here and there that I've learned along the way. Subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 5K subscribers. And don't forget to hit that like button to help us get the video out. Drop some comments if you have any questions, man. And don't forget, man, we're still trying to get to this 5K. I keep repeating it. My long-term year goal was to get to 5K subscribers. We are at like 4,300 and some change. If we can get 700 subscribers, then that'd be awesome. Don't take up any more of your time, man. I hope you guys have a good Wednesday night, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.